Hello, welcome. Hope you're doing well, not too bored, possibly learning some new skills while we're stuck at home. So today I wanna to talk about how you can color in your illustrations to make them look 3D. We're gonna start with the term chiaroscuro, which is an Italian word, it means light and dark. And this illustration you may have seen before, it's how light hits on a spherical object. You've got your lightest point here when the light comes in and hits. You'll have this white, white part here, your darkest point here, graduating in between with a reflection with like a medium gray here, going back to dark, and then the shadow will be super dark, lightening up as it goes here. So you can, if you understand this drawing, you can transfer that into any other object that's rounded and make it look 3D. So that a good place to start would be an apple, because that's kind of a spherical object that has little bumps here and there. So we'll kind of take what we learned from the chiaroscuro drawing and translate that into the apple. Okay. So that's your apple drawing. And I'm gonna go ahead and start by just blocking out where that highlight would be with this nice light cream color. And I'm gonna be pretty generous because I can always go in and darken more, I can't lighten more. And then these little bumps would get light spots. There are two. So you can imagine an apple shape kind of curves in a little bit. You would get highlights here and then darker spots where it dips in. Let's see, we got our darkest spots here. So I'm gonna start with this kind of deep red. And then just start pulling it out gradually. And don't forget to leave a sort of reflection spot here, which is sort of a medium color. And then you just keep working the colors. And I think what I want to do for this dark, dark spot is add some purple. Get really dark in there. And then use your red. Kind of blend it out. That'll give you that nice shadow. And underneath here, so these kind of groove in. Start with our brown, dark brown, and there'll be a highlight here. Your darkest points are here, and just kind of pull those over a bit. And last, the leaf. We're gonna want some greens for that. Start with this dark sharpie green. <laughs> this leaf looks like it's kind of going like that. So when it curves down, where the dip is, will be the dark part. While where it lifts up, the highest part will be the light point. So we're gonna leave this light.
All right, and here is our apple, all finished. You can see it kind of matches this in the sense that you've got your darkest darks here, your whitest white is where the light will hit. So it'll be the most raised up area. Lights hits here where it curves as well, and then darker where it dips in. Graduates in between the light and the dark with your highlight here. The leaf kind of does the same with this where it curves up will be this light point and then your darkest point where it dips in and then graduates in between. So you can see how applying this to this shape will give it that 3D look. The next object I want to do is a pencil, which I think is an interesting shape because it's round but it's made up of multiple flat surfaces. So we're going to see how light hits a pencil. So one way to make your illustrations look a little more dynamic is to, instead of outline them with black, outline them with the darkest color that they're going to be. So since this pencil is going to be yellow, I'm gonna outline it in an orange. Yeah, you can always go back in and darken that outline later if you'd like, uh, but if you do it in black, that's it, you're stuck. There's nothing you can do about it after that. The eraser top is pink, so I'm going to outline that in red. And then since this part is going to be gray, silverish, I'm just going to go ahead and use black. What should we do for this is like a beige color. Let's just start with beige and see. You can always outline it different later on. And the pencil tip is black. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with this pencil part. It's made up of flat surfaces. So this part, this flat part here is gonna be raised the highest, so that's gonna catch the most light. And then these two, are going to reflect the same way this one does, but just a little bit darker. So we're going to start with our school bus yellow. Our next yellow. Right, now that I'm looking at it, I actually don't like the orange lines in this, so I'm going to go black, back over it with black. Then we've got a pink eraser. And the lead part here is black, so I'm not gonna worry about dark darks, and I'm just gonna leave a little highlight. Color the rest black. We've got this pencil part. Okay, so again, you're gonna have light reflecting here, so I wanna leave that white. And then darkest parts here. These are raised up, so anything that's underneath will be darker. So let's just sort of block out where the highlight's gonna be. Okay, and there's our pencil. So, as you can see, we kind of did sort of the same thing. Not quite as intense. Pencil's a little more subtle. So this is your lightest part on the pencil. And then the other two flat parts will be a little bit darker. Same sort of thing here. This is more of a cylinder rather than a sphere. Darkest darks here, their lights graduating. Same with the metal, same with the pencil tip. So the last thing I want to do is a can, a soda can, because that's, it's round, but it's not a sphere. It's more like a cylinder. So that's a little bit different, a little more interesting to see how the light will fall on this object. 
last object I want to draw with this technique is a soda can. You can always use one for reference if you'd like. I've got this club's can of club soda that I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and outline it in black. This is the club soda, so I'm going to give him a label. Dark blue. When you're drawing in three dimensions, since this is a curved surface, any of the horizontal lines are going to curve. Right. So. So let's make the label of this can, soda can, blue. We haven't done blue yet. And again, I'm going to block out where my highlight's going to go. Well, I just colored in my highlight, which is what white out is for. So let's go ahead and wipe that out. Okay, that's his label. Just want to kind of clean up label here where there was white out. And there's our can of soda. Yeah, so that is how you can use this sphere representation and modify it to almost any round surface to make an object look 3D. So I hope you enjoyed that class. Uh, well, I'll see you next time. Thank you.